All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do a quick update, um, another quick update, I should say, on the ONT from Verizon getting upgraded, um, replaced because we had some speed issues. And then I'm looking on Reddit here, and there's a lot of stuff on Reddit uh, about people doing gigabit internet connections and trying to get their um, speeds faster, um, or if the Unify Secure Gateway is working like it should. Um, to route those higher speeds. So my previous video, we had um, some slow speeds. We were in the hundreds. Um, so this is the current speed. Um, and these speeds, believe it or not, they were lower because of um, me not thinking straight, but it was the NIC card. Um, so I am remoted into my Linux box and uh, these are these are speeds I'm getting. Um, the only thing I have is a deep packet inspection turned on. And oh, ping's a little bit high right now, but um, somebody might have just jumped online upstairs. But you just saw before we had over uh, 220, 230 down and we had around 600 something up. I mean, there's my upload. Um, it's pushing over, way over 300 now. Um, it was pinging at uh, over 700. So um, my, my connection's good. Um, I, can, I can check up here to my connection manager and what was I doing? I think I was um, edit connections. Yeah, I was playing with this um, link negotiation so it's still on ignore which is good um i'm just playing with these settings here but uh so that's what that is um yeah it, it's it's a lot faster this might have just been a blip let's try it again real quick but another reason behind this video is i wanted to show uh, a couple individuals how to get your um I get your Verizon router to use uh, your, your gateway, your G1100 that we were using. Um, I put it back on the network for, uh, for two reasons. Um, for one, that I can use my Fios One boxes wirelessly. And then we'll go over here real quick and, um, and here's, the, uh, here's the gateway right here. So and we'll quickly shoot to the back here. And from what you can see is there's the coax and there's a LAN. That's it. We're not using anything else on, on this box. Um, it's showing there's no internet because it's just being used from LAN coming in and the wireless is turned on. The SSIDs are both, um, they're both hidden. So they're only being used for the Fios One boxes right here. Um, from the LAN on the back side of the gateway, it's going into a dummy switch in here. Um, no, excuse me, it's not. From the LAN, it's going into my wall, which is shooting back to my other cabinet. The, the coax is going from here to the wall to a splitter out to the ONT. Um, so that's that's just going over on the other side of the house where the um, the patch panel is, and it's going into my Unify switch. Um, I I could have put this in here, but the way I had routed it that way, it was just um, just something I'm playing with. I'm trying, but technically you could plug this right into a dummy port here. But I'm using all those for uh, for some multiple devices in here. So let me go back over here real quick. Um, so how did I get the Verizon router to do that? So you log into your, um, when you put your Fios gateway on the network in this sense of using it as a Mocha adapter and specifically for Fios One, um, you're gonna con you're gonna change the IP address. So let me uh, log into this. And I'll show you my settings. So Ethernet cable status disconnected. So this isn't using a DHCP. There's my three set-top boxes, and that's all that's connected to this. 
So you click on your broadband connection. Um, let's go. And then right here is your setting. So you can see that I put this IP address in there of uh, 192.168.1.2 ip address your dhcp is disabled and that's just under your settings right here so um so yeah use the final ip address just changes from 1.1.1.2 or if you're using different um different numbering scheme that's what you would do right there that's all you do um and then turn off your ip distribution <clears throat> which is going to turn off your DHCP server and there was one other thing here I believe uh, yeah so that's all you do in there you'll click apply um, and you are good to go to take it off of the WAN and put it from LAN port on the uh, quantum gateway to the LAN port on your network um, and then when it comes back up um, I've got two devices wireless and they're also two devices coax um, the only device that's coax is um, is my main set-top box which is my DVR the other two Fios ones are um, are wireless and One's here and one's right up, right up above us. So that's why, that's the main reason why that is in this room, not in the far closet like it was. So I can use um, the wireless 5G in here and then right upstairs. So that's all you have to do with, um, with your quantum gateway. Uh, you just change, you can go in your broadband connection here, um, click home network, Click settings and we'll change the IP right here and we'll disable IP distribution click apply it will reboot and you're good to go um, so then let me go into uh, here's my unify uh, gateway um, via the cloud key what do I want to show you in here? I think I was just going to, yeah, I was going to verify and show you that the internet security just has um, threat management is turned off and deep packet inspection is on. That is, that's it. And then I've got my, my two networks, default and IoT. That's it. Um, it's running a lot faster. Uh, I can tell you that we had uh, Verizon come out, they did some speed tests, and basically um, my ONT was showing some slow speeds. However, the speed tester uh, device that Verizon was using could only max out at 500 and 500. Uh, originally, it was getting around four, um, and it just wasn't hitting over 500 so now he um he replaced the box and he was getting right at 500 on his device um then we came in here on on my main computer um which has a gigabit nick and this one was still around the 200 range um i just started testing out my um my linux box and i'm getting i was getting over um, over 300. Let's go back to the results here. Uh, yeah, 287 down, 680 up. That was that was kind of my average for the last couple times. So really happy with that. Um, getting the max speed out of all my access points since everything in my house is wireless besides these two computers, and I can still route one gig to my NAS. And that's only limited to 400 megs anyways, just because of the speeds of the, the drives. But just wanted to give you a quick heads up. That's what's going on right now. Um, yes, they did replace the ONT, but they didn't have to. They just did it anyways. 
and uh, we're, we're good to go. I'm really happy with the speeds. Um, maybe I'll try putting a newer NIC card in both of these computers and see if I can get higher speeds. But uh, with the, the wireless gaps at um, around 300 megs um, on these access points, you rarely would get 867 megs, even in a perfect environment and only one device. Um, I doubt if I'll ever get that. Maybe I'll try playing around with that and do a, a video later, but that's what we got right now. Thanks for watching.